Good morning, Harding Middle School. I'm Lily. It's Wednesday, September 1st, 2021. It's National No Rhymes, No Reason Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Here are the Harding headlines, volleyball, football, and Stars Racket Club. Tonight's game is canceled, but the next game will be Thursday, September 2nd, against Westlake in our home court. 8th graders will play at 4.30, and 7th grade will play at 5.30. Go Rangers! We would love to give you an update on our football game, but we have no information. Mr. Castello would like any player to email information about the game. Scores, shoutouts for good plays. Go Rangers! Attention all Harding students, are you interested in space and rockets? Would you like to build your own rocket and launch it a thousand feet into space? If you answer yes to these questions, then this club might be for you. The STARS Space Tech and Rocketry Club will begin in two weeks. There's only room for 24 applicants. Please stop by room 113, Mrs. Thompson Science Class, to pick up an application and to show your interest. First come, first serve. So fill out an application and turn it in ASAP. Shoot for the STARS, Harding. Now here's today's walk home weather with Sophie in our Nathan Capel Weather Center. Did you water your cats today? Yes, today's walk home weather will be 74 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 23 degrees Celsius. It will be a little windy. Fun fact, Kleenex tissues were originally intended for gas masks. Back to the anchor. Now here, here's a look at today's lunch. Hamburger with bun, vegetarian beans, pineapple tidbits, and the wonderful Fantastic milk. Now let's kick it over to Cece for On This Day in History. Take it away, Cece. Salutations, Warren G. Harding Education Center. On This Day in History, in 1972, Bobby Fischer becomes the first American to win the World Chess Championship. This is important because in the world's most publicized title match ever played, Fisher, a 29-year-old Brooklyn Knight, became the first American to win the competition since its inception in 1866. The victory also marked the first time a non-Russian had won the event in 24 years. Now back to the anchor. Now here's people in our Laugh-O-Matic Grand Center 5000. Take it away, guys. Hello, Harding. Why did the kid cross the playground to get to the other slide? Now that's a real news hopper, back to the anchor. This concludes your morning announcements, Rangers. Remember to mask up, wash your hands, and get vaccinated if we're able. We're all in this together, Harding.